Now, Kawangware is one of poorest but the fastest growing shanty towns in Nairobi. Most of its 300,000 residents try to survive on less than $1 a day with little hope of improving their futures. That is where the solar-powered computer lab on wheels comes in. The mobile bus has 12 uh, computers powered by solar panels and gives Kenya's poorest access uh, to technology. Lenny Rovaga has more. Alan Midevo intently goes through the paces on a computer. The 20-year-old is among 20 students being taught basic computer skills. For nearly three months, Midevo has attended free daily lessons without fail. It's an opportunity he normally could not afford. His mother earns about $2 a day washing clothes. Similar training usually costs as much as $100 at more traditional learning institutions. Midevo says he only had to pay a one-time fee of $2.20 to show he was serious about studying. The tutor is very friendly. He, enab he, he enables us to understand more. It's cost effective as it's only 200 shillings compared to the other colleges. And this, this project enables us to of computer skills. Craft Silicon Foundation, a non-profit group, began offering free information and communication technology courses to underprivileged young people five years ago. The training takes 10 weeks. If students pass the final exam, they receive certificates of graduation. But this is no traditional class setting. It is in a bus with 12 computers powered by solar panels. This $100,000 mobile computer lab has helped close to 7,000 students. Craft Silicon is a global financial software company with offices in Kenya, Tanzania, India and the United States. CEO Kamal Budabati says it promotes computer literacy as part of its corporate philosophy of social responsibility. Education is still a luxury at some of these slums. So we believe that uh, as much as it is so important, we must go to slum areas where they cannot afford to get uh, technological uh, education. The Kenyan government also plans to increase internet literacy and access to information by providing free internet in 2015 to all the informal settlements in Nairobi. For now, these students from Kawangware look forward to completing their course and working to better their future. Lenny Ruvaga for VOA News, Nairobi.